Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the not ideal light. Today has gotten away from me and I wanted to film a video before we leave on vacation. And honestly, today has flown by. As I was getting ready to start packing, I thought why not just bring you guys along and do kind of like a pack with me. We are getting ready to go on our first Caribbean cruise and I have done a lot of research on what to bring on a cruise and some of these things are things I would have never thought of if it weren't for the cruise Facebook pages that I follow. And so real quick, I want to do like a rundown of these items and then I thought I would try on some outfits. We can kind of narrow some things down together. Our cruise has like one formal night and then one dress your best night, which I think is somewhat similar. We booked this cruise mid-December and it is now end of January. So I haven't had a ton of time to go thrifting the perfect outfits, but my mindset was to just pack items that I already have. I did have some friends who gave me some things and I was able to thrift one or two things. I will try everything on for you guys. We can pick what we should pack together. But before we get on to like the clothing portion of this video, I wanted to just share some things I've picked up online, mostly Amazon, just like random little things. And I can do like a follow-up either part two of this video or at the end of this video I'm not sure what it's gonna look like telling you if I actually use these items or not and of course I will link everything I can below so like I said we are going on a six night Caribbean cruise first thing that I picked up were these lanyard holders now to my understanding your CPAS card that you use instead of like cash or credit card on the ship they fit into a lanyard so a lot of people said to go ahead and buy these these are pool towel clips I hear it gets very very windy on ships we got a balcony room the thought is we are taking Eli with us and he naps during the day so we're gonna have a lot of time in our room so we decided why not get a balcony so we at least we can be outside and enjoy the sunshine but I hear that it gets windy and you're gonna wanna clip down your towel and or if you ever put like your bathing suit out to dry, you're gonna wanna clip it down. These right here I just picked up from Dollar Tree but they're antibacterial wet wipes, you never know. Like I think it's good to travel with things like this. I'm throwing those in my bag. Okay, I have heard mixed reviews but we went ahead and got some Dramamine and some motion sickness patches. I've talked to some experienced cruisers and they say that they have no issues with the motion but you never know and you wanna be prepared because once you're at sea, you're at sea and if you're gonna have to buy things on the ship I've heard it's way more expensive or you're not gonna be able to find it so we definitely thought it was good to throw in some of these same for Dramamine for kids I got this for Eli so hopefully nobody gets motion sickness but we have some medicine just in case these right here I've heard raving reviews about they are magnetic hooks so I need to like put the little hook side onto the magnet all the rooms are magnetic so I've heard a lot of people raving about taking some magnetic hooks we're actually gonna be taking a shower curtain that I already have to make like a room divider for Eli. The idea is to use these hooks to hang up the shower curtain and have a room divider for his crib or his pack and play. And then we'll have our little space where we don't have to worry so much about just setting in the dark the whole time. So we will see how that works. I got that tip off of a mom's cruise page on Facebook. Again, I will link all of these in the description for you. These right here are luggage tag holders. For cruising, you will have a luggage tag. These are not essential from what I've heard, but they're just very convenient because your tags could rip. So we just bought some of these. They were really inexpensive just to put our luggage tags in. I picked up like a cheap pair of sunglasses. These were literally from the Dollar Tree. Like they're not anything too amazing, but they were a dollar. So yeah. Okay, this is more like kid stuff that people said take snack bags. So whenever you go and get some food, if you want some extra snacks, you can just grab some extra things and have these to take back to your room. Or if you go out on the beach or on excursions, it's good to have little baggies. I also got this outlet. The cruise ships, a lot of them have limited outlets. So a lot of people said to get an extra one with USB. You cannot take the ones with surge protectors to my understanding. This one is just a standard outlet a few things for Eli that I picked up disposable baby bibs I heard that these were a lifesaver and actually I just think that these would be convenient to have around here where like when you go to restaurants and stuff and I don't always have a bib in my diaper bag so just these are individually wrapped for like traveling purposes and also got him some little foldable beach toys hopefully he'll have fun in the sand I think those are just like the random things that I got from Amazon. Oh, the other thing that I picked up were, let me show you. I got these packing cubes. So these came in like a set of eight or so and supposedly they are supposed to help you to stay more organized and to help with your packing. Like this one right here, I started throwing in just my swimsuits and like my swim cover up. This one right here has like some rompers and some sundresses. I 
have done very minimal packing. It's been very <laughs> chaotic here and there. So I really just need to sit down and go through everything and make sure that I have everything that I want to take. I'm expecting this to be throughout the day, very casual, like sundress, swim cover up and swimsuit. And then at night to get a little bit fancier, especially for formal nights. I can try on the dress that I'm thinking of taking for you guys. That was just kind of the part of the video that I wanted to share some random things that I never would have thought of if I had never been cruising before. Now let's get into trying on a few outfits. This is the dress I think I'm gonna wear for formal night. It's probably hard to see, but it has like a little sequins to it. I love this neckline here. It has this fun little forward slit, and I think I'm gonna pack these shoes. So this is one outfit that I'm excited to take. My friend just gifted this to me. She was gonna donate a lot of clothes, and this is one of those pieces where I'm like, I do like the concept of it, but I don't know if it actually fits me that well. As you can see, there's like a little gap in there, so I don't know if I'll end up taking this, but I think it's kind of cute. It's been a snow day here, so I didn't do my makeup. My hair is a hot mess, so I'm just throwing on hats, but let me know if you guys like this one. It definitely has potential. Eli is literally still in his pajamas. He has yogurt on his mouth, and he his pajamas are too short for him, so that's the kind of day that it's been. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Is this a yes or a no? I actually picked this dress up at the end of season clearance at Marshall's last year for $3, so I'm going to consider this like a thrifted dress but I'm thinking as long as the weather is nice don't judge my spray tan I gotta get a spray tan before we go but as long as the weather is nice I'm thinking that like this is perfect for like a swimsuit cover-up or you could dress this up to go to dinner so I'm planning on taking a few different dresses like this these pants definitely need to be ironed before we go they are so wrinkly but I think like this is so comfortable I really don't plan on taking many jeans or many like super nice pants because I love to live in these just light white pants these were a thrift find I thrifted this hat yesterday for a dollar it needs a little bit of fixing you could tell it was like smashed in the crate for a while but I think it's cute and got potential. Yeah, I think that this could definitely work. Don't know if you'll notice, but I just actually switched pants. These are a little bit flowier. They also need to be ironed, but I like that these have pockets. I would actually rate these a little bit more comfortable, so maybe I will take these instead, or maybe I'll end up taking both. But I think pants like this, they can be super casual by the pool, but you can also pair them with a nicer top and wear them to dinner. So that's why I'm trying to think what pieces could I take that serve different purposes and not majorly overpack because Eli and I are carrying a suitcase so I don't have as much room as I normally would these pants are kind of similar to that like flowiness these were a thrift find I don't know if I'm loving them with the black top I just paired them with like black sandals to try it out but I'm almost thinking they might look better with a white top I don't know maybe they don't look bad maybe the hats throwing me off this is for all of my friends on YouTube who always say that I never wear color I was looking through my sister's closet the other day the benefit of having two sisters who are right around the same age as you and I found this dress she has never worn but I'm like you know that's fun and I feel like this is cruise like so let me know do you guys like this one where the light completely disappears I'm definitely gonna pack one or two of these white open shirts. They're literally so versatile because you can dress this up, you can wear it as a swim cover up. I get cold so easily. And I heard that some of the areas on the ship can be rather cool and it gets windy at night especially. So definitely packing this. This lighting is playing tricks on me. It keeps getting so bright and then so dark. Uh, this was another Marshall's clearance find. I do think it's cute. I think I paid a few dollars for it. it at end of season last year. I feel like this one looks cute with the hat. It can be another one that's like just pretty casual or you could probably dress it up as well. So it probably will make its way into the bag. It's editing Katie here. As you can see, I've been spending the morning editing, but I realized I did not film an outdoor to my video. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching. As I mentioned, I will link all the products that I shared in the beginning of this video down below. And if you wanna see part two of this video where we're actually on the cruise ship, make sure that you are subscribed. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.